He is a well-known expert in the world who has mastered the core technology of ultra-high purity metal materials and sputtering targets for integrated circuit manufacturing. He is the regional director of the world's top 500 multinational companies. He has brought back the world's most advanced semiconductor technology and many top talents to China. Most importantly, he established China's first semiconductor sputtering target production line, broke the monopoly of the United States and Japan, and filled many technological gaps in China. But you may not have heard of him, he is Yao Li Jun. A semiconductor genius, a successful businessman, and a patriotic ordinary person. In today's video, let's talk about the story of this low-key genius who changed the pattern of China's semiconductor industry. In the early 1990s, Yao Li Jun, who was still studying at Harbin Institute of Technology, had already shown outstanding business talent. He was particularly interested in computers, not only founded a large computer training institution, but also traveled between Harbin and Songwenkan to sell computers. When the business was booming, he could install more than 50 computers a day, earning hundreds of thousands of yuan a year. At that time, almost all the products we bought from Zongwenkan came from Japan and the United States. I always wondered, why can't we make this kind of chip? Why are IBM, Intel and other star companies all from abroad? A question was buried in the young man's heart. He thought he must go abroad to see for himself how the best chip in the world is made. In 1994, Yao Li Jun, who had already obtained a doctorate in engineering from Harbin Institute of Technology, gave up his lucrative career in China and went to the Hiroshima University of Japan to study for a second doctorate. During the 10 years in Japan, Yao Li Jun's diligence was known to all. And Yao said, during the years when I was a PhD student, the research work in the laboratory was completed at 2.30 in the morning every day. In order to solve a technical problem, the longest working time was when I went to work on Monday and returned home on Friday. When I came out of the office, everything was blurry because of the bloodshot eyes. It is precisely because of this diligence and determination that Yao has not only become one of the world's experts who master the core technology of ultra-high purity metal materials and sputtering targets, but also the top person in charge of the greater China region of a Fortune 500 company. July 13, 2001 was a turning point in Yao Li Jun's life. The successful news of Beijing, China's bid to host the 2008 Olympic Games spread throughout China like a thunderbolt, and Chinese all over the world were ecstatic about it. That night, Yao Li Jun stayed up all night and made an important decision, go back to China and bring back the most advanced technology in the world. At that time, there was no precedent for the production of sputtering targets for the semiconductor industry in China. The ultra-high purity metal materials and sputtering targets used by relevant companies were all imported, and the market was completely monopolized by multinational companies from Japan and the United States. In the face of China's huge market demand and technology and industry gaps, returning to China to start a business has become Yao Li Jun's future plan. In the summer of 2005, Yao returned with 20 containers and a bulk carrier of equipment amidst the incomprehensible voices of the people around him. At the same time, he returned to China with a number of returned doctors and Japanese experts. I was 38 years old that year, and I had the confidence and determination to compete with foreign counterparts. That was my best age, and starting a business one day later would be a waste of time. Yao Li Jun said. Soon, Jianfeng Electronics, an emerging semiconductor material industry chain quietly emerged in Ningbo, China. Chips can also be regarded as very large-scale integrated circuits. The reason why it is called ultra-large scale is because a chip the size of a fingernail is densely covered with tens of thousands of meters of metal wires, and these wires are thinner than one ten millionth of a hair. From the appearance, the target produced by Jianfeng Electronics looks like a big cake with a diameter of 20 centimeters to 60 centimeters. The raw materials are aluminum, copper, titanium, and other metal materials. In the chip production process, different targets interact together, metal atoms are sputtered onto the silicon wafer layer by layer, and then they are cut into nanoscale metal wires by using a special process. The information transmission of the chip depends on these metal wires. Therefore, without a metal target, there is no chip. 
At that time, only a few multinational companies in the United States and Japan could produce this material, due to sufficient preparations for starting a business in terms of core equipment and technology. In October 2005, the first sputtering target for the domestic semiconductor industry in China was born on the production line of Jiangfeng Electronics, filling the gap in China's sputtering target technology. However, just like the development path of most high-end manufacturing companies, the lack of funds and talents has always been the two big mountains that weigh on startups. Although the team successfully produced the first target with Chinese origin, product evaluation is a long process. For the first few years, the startup lost money every day. In 2008, a global financial crisis began to spread, and the newly established Jianfeng Electronics was not spared. The supplier's payment is waiting to be paid, and the employees are also looking forward to wages and year-end bonuses, but our sales volume is very bleak, and we still need millions of yuan in production and R&D expenses every month. It was a very painful time. In order to solve the financial problem, Yao didn't return to the company for three days, and borrowed money everywhere. After completing the payment of employee salaries and year-end bonuses a year ago, there was only 100,000 yuan left in the company's account. In fact, for Yao, there were no other options at that time. After being keenly aware of the plight of Jianfeng Electronics, several multinational companies came to their door one after another to propose acquisition intentions. A Japanese company even placed the signed acquisition contract directly in front of Yao. If you don't sign, you will continue to endure this cold winter that has no end in sight, if you sign, you will have the freedom of wealth within reach. Faced with this multiple choice question, Yao firmly chose the former. High purity metal sputtering targets are a major demand of the country, and the shortcomings have not been made up. Without Jiangfeng Electronics, there will be one less company that is determined to make key chip materials localized. The more difficult the time is, the less we can be afraid of setbacks. Yao said, perhaps Yao's persistence has already unknowingly affected the people around him. After the new year, all employees returned to work. What made him even more delighted was that on the first day of work, the local government helped him implement a loan of 3 million yuan, allowing the company's scientific research and production to return to the normal track. Afterwards, under the active promotion of government departments, Jiangfeng Electronics received another 50 million yuan in venture capital. This has injected vitality into the new development of Jiangfeng Electronics. In 2009, Jianfeng Electronics officially began to send samples to Chinese semiconductor companies for evaluation, and the industrialization also officially started. From the first day of establishment to the realization of profitability, Jianfeng Electronics took a full eight years. In the following years, Jianfeng Electronics' target products with excellent performance and affordable prices have gained more and more trust from Chinese and international chip manufacturing companies. At industry exhibitions around the world, Jiangfeng Electronics is no longer a small company that no one cares about, but a sought-after partner of various leading companies. The products of Jiangfeng Electronics have not only successfully entered China's high-end integrated circuit manufacturers such as SMIC, but also been chased by international advanced production lines. The sales network covers more than 200 chip companies in North America, Europe, Japan, South Korea, Singapore, etc. In mid-August 2018, Jiangfeng Electronics' first overseas factory started production in Malaysia. On October 25, 2018, Jiangfeng Electronics' wholly owned subsidiary opened in Tokyo, Japan, in 2019. Several of its branch factories producing ultra-high purity metal sputtering targets are under construction in China. Today, Jianfeng Electronics is a successful company in the eyes of many people. Its products not only break the monopoly of the United States and Japan, meet the needs of China's 28 nanometers to 14 nanometers chip production, but also become the mainstream supplier of the world's leading 5 nanometers technology node business. But in my opinion, the greatest achievement of Jianfeng Electronics is to cultivate a large number of skilled fighters with patriotism. While researching and developing ultra-high purity metal sputtering targets, Yao also seized various opportunities to promote Ningbo's entrepreneurial environment to overseas high-level talents who came into contact with him, and attracted high-level talents to return to China to start businesses. In this way, Yao introduced more than 50 high-level talents and more than 30 scientific research teams to Ningbo.
a group of experts from the upstream and downstream of the semiconductor new material industry and horizontally related industries quickly gathered to form a target industry chain featuring ultra-high purity metal materials such as aluminum, titanium, tantalum, and copper. In the process of world industrial development, made in China has created too many miracles. In these development trajectories, it is countless people like Yao Li Jun who constitute singularities and lead profound changes in the global industrial chain pattern. The times are constantly changing, but what remains unchanged are the thousands of people who are still running hard. Well, thanks for your listening, and please be free to put your comments below and share your insightful ideas. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.